What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 24 of the Road to Max Ultimate Iron Man series. At the end of the last one, I did have a gargoyle task, and I talked about how my looting bag is going to be full now from adding the gold ore and stuff to it. There are a few things in here I can get rid of. Uh, by the time I need more room, the Marantils and Guams will be used up. I do have some grimy quorms in here, which I can actually clean now, so I have like double for those. Uh, crystal key I can use up, stuff like that, so... Uh, I should still be set on the looting bag. In terms of the levels, I am getting very, very close to another strength level and very, very close to another hit points level as well. So let's go ahead and get the first task here. 181 trolls. This is not too bad. There's the first level of the video being 90 strength. In the last one, I did forget to reset the strength counter, so I made sure to do that. I did forget about it until I gained maybe like 10 to 15 KXP, so it's not going to be completely accurate, but overall, it's, it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, so there is the troll task completed. Before I go into get the next one, I did want to mention something. So if you guys pay attention to the hardcore Iron Man deaths, Fuse actually died on his hardcore, I think, two to three hours ago now. He was ranked 28, and he had some of the most... Uh, PVM items in the game. I've known him for a pretty long time and he is trying to start up like his YouTube channel making videos and stuff So I wanted to give him I guess a shout out He doesn't even know I'm doing this But he did make a new hardcore Iron Man today and he's gonna do a new series on it It's gonna be like a theater of blood from scratch hardcore So make sure you guys go and check out his channel I'll leave a link to it in the top of the description. All right, Jared. I'll give me something good I like this task. It just takes so freaking long to do. Um, I'm taking another break here We actually can do tears of gothics again So hopefully we'll get over 100 points again and it would be nice to get 40 rune crafting also 105 points, which is pretty much the usual for me. Let's see if this gets us to 40. Yep There it is 40 rune crafting. So with that that's all skills 40 plus now I still have both of these being the only ones under 50 though, but another pretty interesting milestone to get. 83 hit points, I'll see you guys in another 10 hours when I finish this task. There is level 63 prayer, still 100 combat though, the next level I get should push me to 101. Next task is 169 blood belt, so that should be really really nice. One thing I wanted to say here is they already added the rune pouch to the game. The poll was like a week ago, so Jagex is working really, really fast with this. One of my concerns was that if I hit 1,250 points that it might not even be added into the game yet. But uh, yeah, Jagex worked really, really quick with this. 78 Slayer, two more levels to go until I can start killing some Necro. 130 tasks in a row, 75 more points added. If I had like two more kills left on this task, I could have gotten the strength level super close, only 1,300 XP away. Next task is another Dust Devil task. Sweet, I'm gonna get a lot of GP from this one. I did also forget to mention, uh, the last two clips were like 400,000 strength experience apart, so I've been gaining a lot of experience. Level 91 strength, uh, level 101 combat as well. So this is gonna be a little random, but I feel like... It's worth mentioning here. Uh, earlier in this video, I did talk about Fuse dying on his hardcore. So today, the rank 4 hardcore Iron Man died as well. I haven't started that top 10 hardcore Iron Man deaths video I was planning to make, and I'm kind of happy I haven't started it yet. It would have been pretty bad if I had that whole video edited and then both of them died. So I am still planning to make that, uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Another gargoyle task done, a thousand more pure essence, 229 more gold ore, and getting pretty close to a 5 mil cash stack now too. So I've gained about 100k strength experience since the last update, pretty much the end of this cave horror task, only have 7 kills left, and I got a superior, so 1300 more slayer XP, and we get a hard clue scroll. Level 79 slayer, one more left to go until we unlock necreals. Another milestone I haven't quite been mentioning or even remembering is uh, level 83, which is spiritual mages where I can get dragon boots. It's only been about four to five minutes since I got that 79 slayer in this hit points level pretty much snuck in here. Uh, I wasn't paying close attention to it and I, for some reason, decided to check it and saw it was like 400 XP away. Uh, so I was pretty close to actually missing the recording again. Bro, look at this freaking thing. Oh, I forgot they changed the model on the Curass. <laughs> how big this thing is dude it spawned near me and i saw a big green blob and it scared the hell out of me i just got a leaf blade of battle axe drop i'm pretty sure it's a one in one thousand drop so we're just gonna keep the axe i'm gonna alk my sword i'm pretty sure it's a really really good alk as well let's see so pretty much five mil gp 
So that alked for about 40k, so that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty sure the axe is going to be better than the sword. 140 tasks in a row, 75 more points. Uh, 10 more tasks away from the 150, which give me 225 extra points for the every 50th task bonus. Level 92 strength, so in uh, RS terms, that is halfway to 99 XP wise. I am on another Gargoyles task. Uh, since that 140 task streak, I have had to skip about four tasks though, so I am down a pretty decent amount of points since the last recording. Uh, I got Steel Dragons twice, and I also got Water Fiends. The 150 task streak uh, will definitely make up for all the points I had to use skipping though. I pretty much got back-to-back -back Gargoyle tasks here since I had to skip another one, so the cash stack is up to six mil now. There's 150 tasks in a row, 225 points gained. So we're over 1,000 now. I need 1,250 to get the rune pouch. So uh, we should be able to get that really, really soon. We're also at a total of 1.6 million strength experience gained so far. Next task, I did get Steel Dragon. So under 1,000 points again. But then I did snag a Calfi task, which other than Anku is pretty much the fastest task you can get. Level 80 Slayer, with that I do unlock being able to get Necreal tasks. These are basically the best Slayer monster in the game, honestly, you get an insane amount of seeds from them. A bunch of Alks, I think it's like 300, 400k GP per hour. The only thing that sucks is since I last did them on my other Iron Man account, they did change the drop table around a little bit, so they took a few things off of it that were really, really helpful. Also, this is going to be kind of random, but I figured I'd show it to you guys anyway. I don't want to make a separate video on it. Uh, so regarding my hardcore Iron Man, I'm just like I said, I'm just going to show this really quick. I decided to AFK NMZ on it. So while I'm playing my ultimate, I'm just going to be consistently AFKing. I'm, I guess for now, I'm just going to be going for like 200 mil attack XP. So far, I've gained 4 million attack XP. I'll just update you guys like once every few videos on how much XP I'm at here. Maybe sometime in the future, I'll revisit doing bossing on it. But for now, that I'm just going to be AFKing on it. Level 64 prayer. I am also at 102 combat. I don't know if I got that in a previous clip or if I just got it now, but I figured I'd mention it just in case. There is level 85 hit points. I'm also 60k away from getting to 93 strength, and I have about 130, 140 kills left on this task, so it's definitely going to happen on this one. Once again, another Blood Belt Superior, so give me a lot of Slayer XP. I love these XP drops, man. 4,100 Slayer XP. It's crazy every time. Decent amount of stuff from that drop. It's always nice getting the 100% uh, and sold head. I'm kind of curious on how many of these I've killed total. So I've only killed really 11? I, I feel like I unlocked Superior such a long time ago. But I feel like I've killed at least 20. It's kind of crazy that it's only 11. Level 93 Strength. I should still be 102 Combat. So still 102. Uh, like I said from the last clip, I really didn't know when I got that level. So um, these are taking a pretty long time now. 748k for the next level. I'd say I'm probably getting... Maybe like 50 to 60k strength XP per hour right now, so it's going to take a while. One nice thing right now, though, is I am at 30 Ancient Shards already, and I'm only at 2 mil Slayer XP. So by the time I reach 99, I'll have pretty much all the Arclight Charges I'll ever need. Look at all these beautiful and sold heads I got from this test. It's like freaking 12,000 Prayer Experience. Well, there's the second Black Mask I've gotten on the account. I'm not too sure what my total KC is on this. I'm trying to check it, but these things are aggroed right now, so it's kind of a pain. Let's see... 2,358 kills to get two black masks. That's kind of bad, to be honest. Of course, I am going to be alking this because I don't need it. I don't know how much it alks for. Let's see. Okay, so it alks for about 2k, so the drop was pretty <laughs> irrelevant. There's another superior. Maybe I'll get lucky this time. So these ones only give 1,300 XP and looks like just an insult head and some nature runes. 192 gargoyles. That's the task I want. Let's go. I only have like 10 kills left on this task, and I just got a granite mall drop. This is the first one I got on the account. I'm just going to alk it, but I figured since it was a first item, I'd show it to you guys. It is a 30k alk, so it is still pretty nice. Uh, I just finished the black dragon task, and I got 160 tasks in a row now, so I did get the extra points from that streak. 1,132 now, a little bit over 100 left until the rune pouch i'm gonna be doing the same thing i did before when i got the slayer helm and stuff and getting like 100 to 200 extra points over just so i don't screw myself over with skipping i still haven't gotten a neck task it's been almost a level so it's not too bad but it'd be nice if i could somehow get one right now so it's not quite a neck task but that's still a really insane task i didn't even know you could get assigned that many well there's the second leaf bladed battle axe these are a pretty good alk as well it's about 50k so this should be really nice Cash tag just keeps going up and up, and I still haven't even gotten neck tasks yet, which will give more GP. I don't know how much I'm looking at getting from going all the way to 99, but it's going to be a pretty large amount. Would you look at that, guys? This is the return of the giant Kurask. Dude, this thing is a freaking tank. I've hit like 15 to 20 zeros on it. 2,700 XP. That's pretty good. 
Uh, wow. <laughs> Unlike the drop, the drop was pretty bad. Jeez, Matt, another gargoyle task. I'm getting these really, really frequently now. I'm actually going to end the video here. Um, I think it's been eight days since the last upload. It's been quite a while, and I want to get this up for you guys. I did mention I want to start showing the looting bag at the end of the video, so this is what it's looking like right now. Um, I have a lot of Guams and Marantils. This is nice. I'm hoping by the time I go to do the Lunar Diplomacy method, I'll have like five to 600 of these. Since I'm getting so many Gargoyle tasks, the bottom drops are starting to add up really well too. Uh, 33 Ancient Shards now. I think the last time I showed you guys, I had 30. Of course, the cash stack, 7.5 mil. That's going up really, really quickly, as I mentioned in the last clip. And also, of course, 100 reward points away from getting the Rune Pouch, so I'll definitely be getting that in the next video. Also, 2.2 million strength experience gained, 360k away from 94. But yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.